just one one piece of news, obviously that's come out sort of in the week. We, again, if you if you watch the final word show, we all know we did some of this, but we'll, I think it's worth picking up on the discussion because since recording, then Lucas Leiva has been interviewed or come out himself and talked about his future, and he's yeah. we kind of very. He's actually said he's got the the conclusion that I think we we come to ourselves in that he will sit down with the club and he will sit down with the manager at the end of the season and work out where he, work out where he stands. And I, to be honest, I. I love Lucas Leiva's attitude, Chris, and I love the fact that he's gone. I've got five games to focus on here. I'm going to focus on them. If they want me, I'll stay. If they don't, I'm not bothered. I'll go and find go and find football. That's 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 the end of it. Yeah, Lando. well, I don't th- I don't think it was quite that cut and dry. I think you know one of the things that that I'd read from the quote, and I'm going to paraphrase because I can't remember it verbatim, is that he'd said playing um, playing time will will be a factor in this. And this, you know, again, this is what we talked about on the final word show is that Lucas Lever feels that he can contribute. The, the the words that he used were, "I'm 30. I'm not 35, 36. Yeah. I still think I've got many years left at yeah. the top level." And I think that's right because you know. Lucas Lever. He's not getting any slower. He's not. He's not. But, it, you know, again, I've talked about this a few times and it's, it's an NFL thing, so I fully expect your eyes to glaze over. <laughs> but uh, Tom Brady talked about how at this age of his career, his body's his body's the same as it was ten years ago, but he's seen everything that anyone can throw at yeah. him now and he's enjoying football more. And they're saying, well, when are you going to give up? Because he's nearly 40 years old. And he's like... I've seen it all. This is it's becoming easier for me now. Yeah. I'm not going to give up when it's just got good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've seen every defense, every every pass rush. I know exactly how everybody plays. Lucas Lever's the same. He's been in this league for ten years. Give or take, he knows probably he's played against ninety percent of the players he's going to yeah. come up against already. You know, he knows his skill set. He understands his body. It's about utilizing that in a way that Liverpool can get the best out of him. He's utilized in all different positions. He has a level of experience. The squad that. We we don't have without yeah. him but you know he wants his game time and he feels he deserves that and mm-hmm. I do too Yeah, you know I love Lucas Lever but if he thinks I want to go I'll back his decision oh God, because that means that Liverpool don't think he's going to we're not going to be able to offer him as many games as he feels he he, he deserves and yeah. you know what he's been a great servant he's been great by all accounts with the Spanish speaking members of the squad yeah. you can see the fact that he's a captain on the field whether he wears the armband or not mm-hmm. he gives his all 100% of the time Yeah, and you know it's football. Sometimes it doesn't go quite as planned. Sometimes you have good days and sometimes you have bad days. On the whole, over his 10 years, you have more good days than bad days. I lo- if I, he said that himself, didn't he? He said, I've had some good games in this season and I've had some bad performances. Every footballer every footballer has that. And again, it, it shows a strength, of, it shows a mental strength that he has. And I think if you if you really look at Lucas, you can tell you see, the lad is, or the fella is chock full of mental strength because you'd have to be to have been at Liverpool this long. Just to get through what he got through in his first few seasons. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that's, that's the thing, you know, I, I think he... he, he I hope in, in the fullness of time he'll be remembered fondly. I think he's he will always struggle because of he he will always carry that stigma with him from the early days, and of course Liverpool have been, have had such a barren spell you know since he since he's been at the club. And I would like I would genuinely like him to get it. I would like to see him have another season um, for what because here's the thing, he's only going to be thirty one. And if, if he if he believes that he's got many more years left in him, he might as well see his contract out because I don't see that the money we're going to get from selling Lucas Lever with a year left on his contract is is the value to keeping someone like that. Even if you honestly, even if you have to lie to him and tell him he's going to play more games than he than he maybe will, you never know. We we get all... insights into your footy manager techniques. No, here, no but... true, true. But here's the thing: you know, you probably you probably will never need. You probably won't need him next season if you buy another defensive midfielder. But. We also know that Liverpool have got horrific history with with injuries to important players. And what have you look at us right now? Thirty eight right months of football missed this season alone on our injuries, Paul. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, and and it's 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 interesting that I think we. I mean, I think we're we're, we're still around the average for the Premier League in in a, in a general sense, but. The fact of the matter is, no one would have predicted Lucas getting this much game time, and he needed a centre back or, or DM. And the fact that he has is testament to how these things can how these things can happen. And what we what we again with what we were saying on the final word is, you're looking to expand your squad because there's more games to play, and you want to be playing more games at a top level. If we <laughs> We are. We would consider ourselves to be a couple of men light for what we're trying to achieve this season. If we're looking to add another fifteen games or whatever at a at a really tough competitive level, and people will be expecting if we finish top four, people will expect more from the league mm. as well next season. I think I can't see a world where whether we might plan for Lucas to only play 
I, you know, I said 10, you said 5. Even if the, the plan is either of those figures, odds are he'll play at least that, and you would imagine more just because, again, let's just let's take a, let's take 10 years of Lucas's career yeah. and analyse how many times we've had those deep injury I think, crises. I, th- I can't remember exactly, but I think he's made nine starts in the Premier League this season. I think he's made 24 appearances in total or something like that, mm-hmm. just in the Premier League. So he's a he's a guy who's been utilised a lot yeah. in, in many different ways as well. You know, we've talked, you know, and you mentioned it briefly there about being a DM, being a centre-back. It really depends on what Jurgen Klopp's doing with the squad. I think mm-hmm. if he, if there's a move towards three at the back, which we've seen in recent weeks, then you're going to need more centre backs than the four that we're we're currently almost yeah. planning to have for mm-hmm. next season. If there's going to be three centre midfielders, then you know he might be more of a centre midfielder yeah. option and stuff like that. So it really does. It's a, it's about how this squad's going to take shape and where Lucas fits into that. I, I mean, I. I I'd love, to, I'd love to see him at the club. I wonder why we're not asking these questions about James Milner at 31 now. Why Lucas at 30, the questions are being asked. Is it literally down to the fact that his contract has a year to go? Because mm. Milner's older. Yeah. Milner's I'll, older, and yet we, we we seem to be fairly comfortable with him being a first team next well, season. Well, but that's the point, is that he is a first team, isn't he? There's a difference, isn't there? Because Lucas Lever. Well, James Milner's had opportunity and, he, and he's proved it, hasn't he? Whereas I think we'd all say that. And that's maybe that, and again, you can see the management trust as well. Lucas Lever's never first choice in that squad. He's he's behind. He's definitely he's, he's easily behind what Henderson and M H N. You'd say whatever. But you pop you pop James Milner in a week ago into centre midfield. Oh, horrendous! He doesn't look anywhere near as good as Lucas in no, centre midfield. No, no, no. And there's a guy who's a year older. He yeah. got the nod over Lucas in that game. Yeah, that happened once, and Lucas came back in. Yeah, and, and puts a great no, performance. It isn't, it isn't. I think in some respects, Lucas Lever's actually fallen foul of being a bit younger than a bit too young because no, no, no a bit, but hear me out because I you can see where I remember when he was injured under Brendan Rodgers and, and um, Rodgers sent him on scouting trips for them sent him around Europe to, to, to look at players and what have you and it, Lucas is a very is a big student of the game and it wouldn't shock me to see him go into coaching off the back of it and he, he, he Lucas Leiva's got all the hallmarks of a player who will, who, who will end up back at Liverpool in, yeah. in years to come as an assistant manager or a, or, a, or in, in, in a coaching role. You know how you see, um, like, Rafa always picks up someone who's relevant to a, to a club. So you see, like, Bolo Zenden's gone back in, in, in coaching and that kind of stuff. It wouldn't shock me to see him that, but he, he could probably... You know, he could probably go away and do a few years in uh, around the world, play. You know, get get a good game time in Italy or Turkey or you know maybe a lower end in, in La Liga or something, and, and come back. But it's a shame because I wouldn't mind seeing Lucas Leiva see his contract out. But the fact is, he's only going to be thirty one when he sees his contract out, and it's not like see your contract out and then move into the coaching staff. He's like, no, hang on, I've got like four more years left in my legs here. Oh, sure. oh shit. Okay, well. Enjoy the next four years, mate. We'll see 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 how you get on. It's a it's a pity because I wouldn't like us to lose what Lucas brings to the, the you know the squad that experience that mentality that the can do attitude and, and what have you. You know you get rid of him and you get rid of maybe you know, I, I can't see Milner being moved on. Clavan might well go. How many players have we got who were over thirty well, in the squad? Well, it's not just I I think when you look at Clavan and Lucas this season. They've done really good jobs, admirable jobs, in that every time they seem to start, it seems to be last minute, like last 24 hours for an yeah. injury. And there's not many players in our squad who I trust to drop in on 24 hours mm. notice and play in a position oh, that they're, they're unfamiliar with. Lucas has done that brilliantly all season long. Yeah, he's had a few bad games. Everybody had bad games. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, when, you, when you're getting dropped into a squad with minimal notice, when the, when the team have been training a certain way all week long... And then you're dropped in and supposed to do a job that you're not fully comfortable with. Mm-hmm. I think more than, more often than not, he's done a great job. Yeah, absolutely, completely agree with that. So yeah, obviously more on that as it as it follows. I know I, I, the very the bare minimum. I'd like to, I'd like to see I'd like to see him get a testimonial because I don't see that we'll be seeing him. He could anyway. be the last ever testimonial. You know what I mean? The last ever Liverpool player testimonial, which would be a shame.